Today I show you how to prevent apps from making purchases on your Google account. In Play Store you can download an app and it might have in-app purchases and sometimes you see them easily but sometimes they are very a bit sneaky and you, you might get your card charged by just pressing the fingerprint by mistake and then the in-app purchase registers it as you wanted to make a purchase inside the app. If you find this video interesting, make sure to leave a like below and subscribe to the channel to watch more videos like this one about how to make your phone and computer more secure. You find where you have the Play Store link. If you don't know where it is, you can search for it. You can search for Play. And then you have the app, it's called Google Play Store. So open the app. And here you don't really, this is all just apps to, to install. You have to go to your account on top here. And then under your account in Google Play Store, you have the settings. Settings. And then important part here, purchase verification. And here, I don't know, it's I think by me by default or maybe I enabled it and I forgot but you will have biometric verification use face or fingerprint instead of password this is actually uh, seems like a secure way to do it but it's actually less secure because I believe it's my opinion that this is less secure because you would only want to make purchases when you really need to but with the fingerprint on and by the way, it's very easy to disable it. You, you will just press to disable it and you will, you will be asked to verify all future purchases with your Google account password. This is exactly what I want. I want to make sure that the purchase is verified with the hardest thing to enter. And the fingerprint is actually the easiest thing. You just put the finger there and it's over here on the screen. And then you verify it. It's like you agree to the payment and the in-purchase apps with in-purchase uh, tokens like uh, Roblox. I will make a few videos about Roblox and how you can have actually uh, in-app purchases and it's just nothing special. There's V-Bucks and uh, it's very easy to buy something you don't want basically by mistake and they keep asking all the time to purchase something. So it's not enough here. You did the biometric verification off, so you have to enter the password, which is much more difficult than the password, the fingerprint. The fingerprint, you just enter it like this. And also go to verification frequency. You guess which section, which option you should choose you should choose to verify always. You might have it at every 30 minutes or never. <laughs> always choose to verify. So whenever you an app tries to make a purchase, in-app purchase on your Google account, Google Play Store, it will, you will have to enter the password every single time. And this is exactly what I want. This is really what I wanted to tell you. And this applies to purchases made through Google Pay for this Google account on this device. So make sure you check, make sure you check this setting for all your devices on your account. And you should have like this, I believe. Let me know in the comments how you have your settings or if you ever check them. Probably you didn't check them, but I believe you should check them because I don't think it's easy to get a refund once you put your fingerprint there. If it was by mistake, it's very hard to prove that you did it by mistake especially when supposedly the app showed you the notification that it's going to charge your account for this. So that's all. Keep, keep your gaming safe. So yeah, I might try, I might try to use Roblox like this and see how it works. So far it was trying to make purchases all the time and I, I was trying to disable it from the app, but it's very difficult like this. You can disable it from the Google account directly so they cannot make any in-app purchase on your Google account unless you enter the password. So you would not enter the password 
if this is not what you wanted. And if you want to make a purchase, you can enter your password on the Google Play Store or you can re-enable the setting, put it back to fingerprint temporarily and then set it back to how it, how it was. You can easily change the setting, you can re-enable it. All you have to do is press your fingerprint. And by the way, you notice that you don't get the extra step notification. You get an email about it, so you get an email every time you change the setting. So now, to confirm, ask to enter the password. So you can change it on and off how you like. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps you save some money on unexpected purchases.